Hello, hello, I'm King Zakree, and oh my god, that Riven's so close to being dead. Is he gonna... Oh, it's dangerous, but no, he's gonna get out of... I don't understand why Riven didn't uh, use any of her abilities to get out of there. Surely they would have been off cooldown by that point. Uh, maybe he didn't think he was gonna go full in anyway. But holy shit, more action, more action. Ah, uh, no, Gragas is gonna do that. You know, I've been seeing a lot more Gragas support than uh, I usually do. It's really weird. So what do we got here? We've got... We've got I'm a cutie pie. That's a professional player right there on that Lucian. And I'm pretty sure that's actually, actually him. So that's fantastic. Uh, pretty standard bot lane, except for the Gragas, but otherwise... Damn, God, look at that! <laughs> look at that! He got all that trade-off for free. Damn, fantastic. Alright, move you there. Uh, that's about right. No jungle item? That is weird. Uh, we got him on the bot lane. Whoa, holy shit, no, he's in the mid lane. He's gonna be an AD caster. That's pretty interesting. Oh, damn. He's in there. He flashes out. He's still chasing. He's got his Valkyrie. He's gonna be fine. <laughs> oh, damn. No, go back. Go back. No, he just barely survived. I was uh, pretty, pretty close on him. I'm gonna turn my volume up a little bit. There, it's a little bit better. Alrighty. So... Uh, you're in the right place, you're in the- oh, damn. <laughs> I always hate when that happens. Uh, there we go, so we're all good. How are we doing here so far, though? Uh, zero, zero, zero. Damn, look at that CS! Holy shit! Cor that Twitch is doing awful, just awful. Uh, a 40 level difference. Oh, damn, they get the catch on him. He's There's no way he's getting out of that. It's a really nice skin. Oh, damn, but he's caught out. He's taking so much damage that the cook is going to spell his death. The ult wasn't necessary, but just in case, I suppose. Uh, he's doing all right. He's got his mana moon. Damn, that's a really nice skin as well. Man. Maybe we should just, like, focus on McCutie Pie. And also, I need to... Can I do it from here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, this one. I want to decrease all the way up. It's going to take a second. So, I should be watching freaking LCS right now. What am I doing? Okay, that looks so much better. They got the catch on him. He gets hooked, but he's probably going to be fine. He's going quite low, but the... the you know, I think... Mm, I'm unsure about that Gragas pick. I'd really... If I was... It may be a duo queue is what it is. It, you know what? But it actually really doesn't matter because I'm a cutie pie skill is so much higher. Oh, but they get the catch on him. They're going over to the left. It's not. Oh, damn. Go back up to the top. Where are you going? Oh, okay, he's going to get away probably. I don't know. She's catching up to him. She's catching up. Oh, but the cousin comes in for the support. Oh, but there's two of them. She flashed out of there and she's out. Uh, he's trying to get a quick drain off here. I don't. He's going to get away. Nicely done. <laughs> That was good. Good job by Wukong. If he had kept going this way, he would have died. That was a nice little juke there. And then, of course, the Kha'Zix support there. If Kha'Zix had not come into the support, they would have just kept chasing until he died. You know, whenever I... It's funny. Whenever I watch pros play... Where'd he go? Oh. Ugh. I have this stupid Fog of War set to the wrong side. I hate that. Oh, he's gonna die. <laughs> Uh, Kha'Zix may be able to pick up a return kill here, though. Oh, he's going so low, though. He's going so low. He needs to hop out of there. Did he evolve his wings first? No, he's going to try and go for that kill. No, he flashes out. Okay, good Okay, good idea by, uh, by Fiddle. You don't want to chase that Kha'Zix into a bush. No, actually, he probably evolved his, uh, his Q first. Yeah, whenever I see pro players play Lucian, I'm like, damn, he's so powerful. I need to play him. <laughs> and then, like... I do play him, and he just seems so, like, useless to me, personally. And, uh, lower elo play. I like picking the, uh, like, Jinx and Etriel and stuff like that. Etriel, especially. He has, like, an incredible amount of poke and power and burst while maintaining a very nice level of safety and, uh, global control. He's just a great, great character. I wish his ultimate skin was a little bit better, but otherwise... But to be fair, it was their first ultimate skin. And I'm looking at it in, uh... 
uh, and I'm comparing it to Spirit Guard Deer, which isn't really fair. Because Spirit Guard Deer is like, it's such a perfect template for uh, Ultimate Skin. I'm surprised it wasn't the first Ultimate Skin. Maybe maybe because it took so much work as opposed to that true one. But anyway, the next Ultimate Skin is coming out here pretty soon. I'm really excited about it because I'm such a... Because I, I work person, I uh, do a lot of work in like 3D modeling and After Effects and stuff like that. Uh, so like all these, ooh, he fought. Did he flash out of there? I guess because he realized he didn't have enough damage to do anything. Oh, it's gonna be so close. He gets it. It was so close. Oh man. Oh, but he's gonna get the return kill on him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that really sucks. But uh, still, that's a. It really suck. So <laughs> she should have had that without needing. Uh, you know, it actually would have helped if Carthus had ulted a little bit sooner. There's some trouble from. Oh, but uh, Fiddlesticks ults over the wall. He's gonna be able to pick up that kill on Blitzcrank. But Kha'Zix in that uh, is in there trying to help out as well. No, oh, and where does Corky come from? He jumps over the wall, picks up a triple kill, cleans them all up. Whoa, I didn't even see that coming. Ugh. Um, I want to figure out how to... Ah, A. That's, a. That's pretty neat. I really... I don't understand what this, these bars mean. Health. Of nearby champions? That doesn't make any sense. I always thought it was like uh, HP and mana or something like that, but I guess not. Gosh, that damage on that Wukong is insane. What is he even building? Like just attack damage, and he's doing that much damage. They're coming in for the for the dive here. Can he get a Blitzcrank hook? Oh, he gets it! Wukong comes in. There's no problem to pick that up. Oh, but she gets away. How did she get away? Blitzcrank should be able to pick this kill up on her at least. Yeah, they get it. Fiddlesticks do nothing. I hate Fiddlesticks. Fidel sticks. Look at him. He's 0 and 4. Fiddlesticks is just... He's like a like a really shitty version of Blitzcrank, really. Is what I think of him as. Like, uh, mixed with, I don't know, like a Karthus. Like, incredibly high damage. Incredibly high damage. And tons of CC. But, like... Like, <laughs> he's... Oh, he gets hooked, and it's like one two-shot, and he's dead. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I don't like playing Fiddlesticks. I can't, I just cannot play champions that are that squishy and have, like, no escape. Because at least with, like, someone like Blitzcrank, I mean, not Blitzcrank, uh, LeBlanc. LeBlanc is incredibly high damage, and, uh, damn, look at all that damage he gets on him. It looks like he's probably going to pick up the kill on him. Oh, he's just out of range. Oh, so close. He's not going to pick up. The kill on him, unfortunately. The Twitch is really close to dying. He got out. He got out of there now. So how is that General Wu Kong doing? One hundred and four to one hundred and four, dead even. Uh, Kha'Zix is predictably farming better than Fidelistics. Now he picks up a jungle item. Carthus. This is relatively even. 30 CS and a kill. Not that big deal. Well, I mean, it's kind of a big deal, I guess. This is a big deal. Five deaths and two, to two kills. But see, they're grouping up at 17 minutes. Oh, that damage is coming down on them, but they don't follow up on him. Oh, the Gargus hole just whiffs. She comes back in. She wants that kill on the Corky. She manages to pick it up. Now they're going to shoot down this middle tower. Nope, they're going to they're gonna stop it. Because that General Wukong coming in. The General. <laughs> uh, we've got a 2-1 on Amakuti Pai farming extremely well. The best except for Corky. Oh, he flashed over the wall. I mean, he ults over the wall. I'm probably going to pick up that kill. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Oh, my God, though. They should not have needed fucking uh, Karthus ult to pick up that kill. It was a good job by...
blitz crank there, pulling in fiddle, but still. I don't know why I yawn so much when I do these. It's really weird. I don't yawn all that much otherwise. Let me check and make sure my recordings are recording correctly. Yep, looks about right. So I, uh, previously I've had my video bitrate. I fucking did that thing again. I had my video bitrate set to... Uh, 5,000 kilobits per second. Today, I jumped it up towards 10,000 kilobits per second. So hopefully it'll look a lot better. And if it doesn't, hell, I'll bring it up to 20,000 kilobits a second. Because I noticed with some of my previous videos, the quality is just awful. Just awful. It looks so washed out and, like, grungy. Hopefully this video bitrate situation will get a bit better. Sorry for moving the mic there a bit. Another thing I'd like to do also is to uh, get a over-the-head mic. I really like overhead the mics. Oh, are they going to pull them in? No, they're not. They don't see them. Pull the Gragas in. You have a blitzcrank. Just pull them in. What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Why would you do that? They managed to pick up a couple kills, but that was so dirty. Ugh. They should not have died anywhere near as much as they did. I don't understand why they didn't just pull the Gragas over the wall. Out of turret range. Weird. Maybe there's some kind of next level strat that I don't know of. I don't know. Let's, I don't know. So it looks like, surprisingly, Blue Team is quite a bit in the lead here. Uh, they've got a 6,000 gold advantage. Three turrets, probably one more coming up here, and eight kills. That's you know what it is. You know what it is. It's that fiddle sticks, that Fidel sticks. He's six of those eight kills there. He's doing pretty awful. Riven's not doing too well either. She's really out of meta right now. But then again, she was going up against a Wu Kong. You know, she wouldn't have been too difficult. And then, uh, I mean, Cutie Pie is doing really well, but not, like, enough to carry his team, unfortunately. Karthus is doing pretty well. But then again, he's just picking up kills that other, that the other members of his team should have picked up. And uh, Grog's support is not something you really want in most situations. They just collapse in on him. They've just got so much, like, uh, team fighting synergy. Fiddlesticks doing a ton of damage, but it's not going to... It's like, I don't know. It's 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 weird. They've got a lot of AOE damage over there on uh, red side with the Gragas ult, the Lucian ult, Riven ult, and Fiddlesticks ult, and Karthus ult. <laughs> really, all of their abilities pretty much are pretty good at AOE. So we're starting to get into the, uh, the team fight uh, section of the game. Let's see how well they actually do. But I'm looking over at Blue Team, and it's like their Twitch has a has really good uh, team fighting, as opposed to having a pretty poor laning phase. And then you have your uh, your Wu Kong, right? Which is uh, like it's like uh, he has to be one of the best team fighters in the game. That ultimate is just it can literally turn the tide of a losing team fight. It's one of the best in the game. Uh, I always, I always think, you know, if we have a Wukong on our team who isn't doing especially well, I tell him, you know what, just, just land your ult in team fights, right, and we'll do everything else, <laughs> cause that's really it. He's a, if he can get his ult off, a good ult off in a team fight, he, we won that team fight. It's really excellent. It's like, uh, I'd say it's even better than like an Amumu ult. Maybe. Possibly. Because at least the Wukong ult's going to do a ton of damage. And then you have your Corky, of course, which is like one of... I think he's one of the best AD carries in the game. Because his just constant... Uh, his his burst is pretty low, but his just constant DPS is like probably the highest in the game, I think. 
except for maybe Jinx. But also, Jinx doesn't have very much AoE, except for her uh, switcheroo, but that didn't do a ton. Oh, he's probably going to go down? Yeah, he's going to go down. That was a good uh, ult by Blitzkrank right there. Oh, but Raven's coming in. She's got that sticking power. Oh, so much damage! Just melts through that uh, the, the mana shield or whatever it is. Twitch is coming in. Oh, I don't know if he wants this. Did he... Did he activate his right attack tat? Yeah, he did. He didn't get nothing for that. And he's so incredibly squishy. All the damage I'm mean, guy's putting out, he's just eating it up. <laughs> scrying orb. Who has a scrying orb? Oh my gosh, here go he flashed in and he, and he gets nothing! He gets nothing! What an off like that's so wasted. it was wasted. An ult and a flash, and he didn't get nothing for it. This Fidel sticks, man. <laughs> I'm going to call him Fidel Sticks. I like the way that sounds. Oh, the Twitch flash out. So, oh, here comes Carlton Solid. Is he going to change the... No, it's not. It's not going to do nothing. Uh, I don't know where Riven's going. She must be blind. She's so close to dying. Oh, here comes he flashes that and he gets it. He jumps out. He's going to live another day. That's why you evolve the wings. Come on. Soak it up. Oh, okay. Never mind. Why are they just taking those, like, random turret shots? I don't know where Karthus is going. You should be out there trying to protect your turret. At least try to wave clear. Now he's going to die. There's no way he's going to end of that. I wouldn't... Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, I would have waited to get uh, over a little bit. Because when you hooked him in there, he might have been able to flash out and get away. Japan, man. So the, their Twitch isn't doing so well, but their Wukong and Kha'Zix and uh, their Blitzcrank, <laughs> their Blitzcrank is 6 and 2. Uh, but uh, it's just like, you know what they always say, like, uh, gold wins games, and that's pretty much what's going on here. It's just like, uh, even though red team has a pretty good uh, team fighting comp, probably better than red uh, blue teams, uh, they just can't, like, they get, they just, like, all, there's... Their gold advantage is too big. <laughs> it's almost 10,000. <laughs> gold advantage is usually what tells you he's going to win the game. If anything, uh, they're going to need to pick up like all the objectives and just kind of... I don't know. It's weird because you don't want to like try to stall out at this early part of the game so early. It's just weird to me. It seems like they should... But the gold advantage is so huge. Oh, but there is a pick. They're going to pick him up. Maybe they can take an objective off this. That's the best thing that possibly happened. Oh, he almost got away. Look at all that damage coming out of Corky, man. It's just incredible. Oh, damn. If they had hit that hook, it would have been game over for them. For a red team. That's crying off. Who has the crying off again? It's Twitch. Weird. Damn, just barely out of range for those hooks. Ram's coming in there. Oh, god damn it. Look at the damage. That Corky is just like tearing them out. Oh, and the flash hook misses. That's what you don't want. If he had hooked on that Karthus, that would have been huge. Yeah, this looks so solidly in the blue team's favor here. Um. And I'm a cutie pick. I'm a picked up a uh, scrying orb as well. Probably to see if they're taking a beard. <laughs> so it looks like they don't even really care all that much. They're very slowly moving over. And they've took it. It's a free baron right there. There's the game. That's game right there. Without a doubt. Now they're going to wait for a pick. Uh, one Blitzcrank hook. Nope, we missed it again. That was just... <laughs> he was laying down the disrespect. <laughs> That's a silver ward, isn't it? Weird. I'm going to pick up the dragon as well. Yeah, there's no coming back for red team here. The gold advantage is just increasing by the minute. Uh, and it's... Yeah, it's just... <laughs> this game's gone. <laughs> May, uh, yeah, it's, just, it's too big. The gold advantage is just too big. It's like something you'd see, like... Dark Passage to Samsung White. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I think with something like, like Worlds, right? 
the uh, the grace period on spoilers it should only be like a week or so, especially if it's group stage. No, okay, like not ac- actually not especially if it's the group stage. Uh, like the day of the world championship finals. Oh damn, the hook he's gone. Uh, I think the grace period should be like a day or two, three days top tops. Cause that's something you want to like talk about. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to wait like two months. Like, oh, you know, March rolls around. Thankfully, we can start talking about the world championship finals. Nah, nah, nah. So they're doing the siege. I always find, like, I, I think I've said this before. I find it really interesting that the, uh, the siege parts, because, uh, and they mentioned this in Low Elo, uh, the podcast a while back. They'll give up. They'll, they'll lose out in the short term. Uh, yeah, they'll lose out in the short term, like CSing and objectives, other objectives and stuff like that. Just to break the inhibitor wall, or to break a turret wall, a, just a single turret, really, if it's an important one, like the mid one. Oh damn! Oh damn! That that uh, Kha'Zix is pretty far in there. Oh, but he jumps out of there. Fantastically done. Uh, it looks like Twitch is actually doing better, but he flashes over. Oh, the fiddle wall does nothing, nothing, and he gets pulled in and he dies. That fiddle sticks, man. Uh, Riven managed to pick up a kill on her, uh, uh, what's his face, Wukong went too deep, oh, but Riven is on the chase, here comes that, uh, car that's all, not gonna do anything, that was really good of retaliation by Red Team, but oh my god, the fiddle sticks, oh, that was just awful, here comes, uh, uh Corky, he's, he's still got the Baron buff, he's gonna be so much more powerful, oh, but they catch him with that Gragas, oh, and he, re- he kills him, he takes up, he picks up, both of those kills. How did he do that? What happened? We gotta rewind that. Insta replay. Back 15 seconds. How does that happen? Okay. So, Gar- it looks like Gragas may have used his ult right there. Yeah, he did. Alright, so it slows down to... That. So... Corky, alright. Well, you can see right here. Let's zoom in a bit, too. Uh, is play and pause on the same button? Yeah, it is. Okay. So, alright. It must be his lifesteal. Oh, my God. How does... Oh, he hit a crit. That's what it is. He hit a crit on the last shot. Healing him back up just enough. Look at him. Look at that health right there. Look at that. Look at him. He's at 50 health. 50. Oh, what happened? 28 health. 28. Hits a Christmas for 500. Oh, and he hit. He hits him before he can hit back. He picks up both of those kills. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's gotta suck. And he picks up the blue buff. <laughs> This game's over. <laughs> oh my god. That's got to be like so demoralizing. To not even be able to pick off this low health Corky. And he picks up a double on you. And he still got away. So just going back in for the siege. That's why I like playing Corky man. Corky is such a cool champ. I love playing him. Uh, I've tried, like, I tried, uh, like, I'll do a thing where I, like, just try out every attack damage carry. Oh, Fiddlesticks ult's in there! Okay, now that, that Fiddlesticks ult is actually doing something this time. That, uh, damage from the, uh, Lucian ult's probably gonna take him down? No, it doesn't. It's pretty close, though. Relatively close. That was a, okay, so that time, Fiddlesticks actually did something. <laughs> and what did they pick up off it? He picked off a kill. That's pretty good. <laughs> he thought I was going to be in the bush. <laughs> this is really dangerous because he's really low. Oh, he's going to go down. Uh, Kazi should jump in there. He's way better than both of them combined, really. They back off. Yep. So they take off the GA. Next team fight, 
Corky's going to be playing a little bit safer. Totsie and Barney live? Yeah, yeah. So they're coming back a little bit, but the gold advantage is still 12,000, 10 kills, and 5 turrets. Baron is just about to come up. I imagine they want to, there's not even any vision over there. Is this Challenger? This is Challenger, by the way. I, I guess never mentioned at the beginning. This is Challenger. Uh, I think so. It should be. I'm pretty sure it is. Taking half a century to pick up that dragon by himself. <laughs> so they're gonna be doing the Baron dance here for a little bit. I don't. I'm not sure that. I don't think Red Team can tango here. Blitzcrank gets caught up. Look at that incredible damage! Wow. Oh, but Ama Cutie Pie comes in way too deep. Grice do nothing. Phil sticks. He's gonna die here. There's no way he's gonna out of that. Maybe if it was one person, but not two. Uh, so we've got two dead to the one. There's no way uh, Red Team can save this off. Unless Kha'Zix does something like like that. They would have been able to see that out and win eventually. But because Kha'Zix, like, thinks he's the shit, he goes in and just dies. So they're going to opt for just picking up the inhibitor. Probably getting Oh, but he flashes in. Oh, it's... Oh, but... Oh, he catches the ribbon, though! Oh, just barely on the end of that ult. That was really close. Uh, to being to being a bad situation for blue team, but they pick it up. Corey, he's really like doing incredibly well, isn't he? Yeah, nine and three. Corky's strong, man. He's strong. I'm surprised we're not seeing him more in worlds. I'm. I guess it's just because uh because uh <coughs> what you call it? He's not in meta or whatever. And yet, like, Lucian is. I, just, I don't like Lucian. I think he's an interesting champ. Oh, did he flash over the wall just to try and pick up the kill on him? Yeah, he did. Oh, but he, the cards is going to pick up that kill on Corky. Corky finally goes down. And they're not going to follow up. This is interesting. Baron is still alive. I wonder if... Red Team can... <laughs> Red Team's going to try and do anything about it. You know, I'll... Uh, okay, never mind. I was going to talk about a game from uh, the first week of Worlds, but I think it's still a little soon to be talking about it, so I'm just going to opt for not talking about it. But it was a really... If you if you watched it, you know what I'm talking about. It was a really interesting game where one team came back and won the game from another team. You know, I think that's being... <laughs> I think that's being fake. Did he steal that? Did he steal that? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he stole that. That was his intention. Probably. I don't know. Kha'Zix can still can make use of that blue buff. That was kind of a shitty thing to do by Blitz if he stole it. Even if they're pretty solidly in the lead here. I don't understand why they don't try and group and go for that Baron. Oh, damn, he catches him out. He's doing so much damage. He's doing so much more damage. Oh, but the return damage on the on Cutie Pie a few seconds after is incredible. He was it almost all the way up, though. He should be fine. Riven caught out a little bit, but she manages to jump the wall. Oh, here comes Fiddlestix. He flashes in there. Uh, they kind of get separated here. Uh, it's going to be difficult to say. They might be able to pick up him. Oh, Gragas comes in and flashes over the wall. Or does he flash? Yeah, he flashed over the wall. They might try to pick up Baron on this. That seems risky, because here comes the rest of the blue team. Oh, oh no, this looks like a steal to me. This looks like a steal. Blue team stole the Baron, and they're trapped in the Baron pit. Again, just completely wrecked by that Corky. Oh, but I'm a cute by just still barely alive. Oh, damn, but the card has to jump out because he's taking too much damage. And he, they picked up the Baron buff. Oh, this is just, this is game over. And the, the super minions are just laying down uh, 
just completely destroying these Nexus turrets. Uh, the Nexus is open. You've got an open Nexus. If uh, if they had killed Amicutipi and Gragas, no. If they had killed Amicutipi, that might have been like game over from the minions. But they they got Baron stolen from them, and it's, it's game over. There's no way they're gonna come back from this. <laughs> and I say that trying to hype up like. <laughs> Trying to hype up a really like cool comeback, but I don't think so. I'm surprised they haven't surrendered yet. Maybe they have been trying to. It's difficult to tell because I don't know what this uh, what this uh, what you call it, this all chat actually does. They haven't even taken down their second line of turrets yet. A second turret. If red team does come back, it has to be like a back-to-back -back ace. I don't think they can do it. You have that constant pressure coming down on the right side. I'm not sure which one they want to go for. Twitch getting in there, kind of scouting it out. They're probably gonna. No, they're not gonna go for it. If I was, if I was blue team, blue team, and I was that solidly ahead, I would just try and force something. They're so far in the lead that even if red does try to counter engage, they're just gonna win it, no problem. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Yep, they're going for it. So they're gonna do as much damage as they can to that uh that backline. Oh, but Blitzcrank's taking a ton of damage that uh that whatchamacallit face tries to do as much damage as he can. It's not gonna do anything. They're gonna go for the win here. Open inhibitor. G Oh no, I shouldn't say that. It's game over. <laughs> Just hit the Nexus <laughs> And Causing jumps into the turret the Nexus turret. I don't know. Anyway. I'm a cutie pie. Uh he definitely did the best on his team. Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't enough. That's too bad. That sucks. Anyway, that's game. That, is, that was Challenger uh, with Amigutibai. Thanks for watching.